Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe this totally unedited surgery. You can see that the eyeball has tilted to the right side. This is because of peribulbar block. Sometimes one muscle is more paralyzed than the other muscle and because of that the muscle which is not much paralyzed uh, acts and the eyeball is pulled to that side. So I have made the main incision. Now this is visco filling up the anterior chamber. This is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Methyl cellulose has been applied over the cornea also. And now a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. Only one side port has been made in this case. That means my plan is to remove the cortex either by the phaco needle itself or by a Simco cannula or coaxial IA. Capsular excess is done with the help of a uterator forceps and now hydrodissection is done with PSS using a 27 gauze cannula. As the fluid wave goes to the other side, we stop injecting, depress the nucleus and just rotate once because I am going to use pre-chopper. If I rotate many times, there will be a problem in visibility. So here goes the pre-chopper, engages just in front of the uh, rexis margin near the main wound and the opposite equator is hooked and in this case, the left hand instrument did not go to proper depth. So the crack happened but it is not nice. Now second attempt this time it went to proper depth and so the uh, nucleus sustainer uh, has to be you know has to be uh, depressed the tip so that the ball tip goes to the posterior surface of the periphery of the lens. And now here goes the phaco needle, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed, the nucleus is rotated few times and now here it is. We can easily you know, embrace the hemineucleus by the nucleus sustainer and break it into pieces. And this is the other piece and this is the final piece. At this time the vacuum is reduced a bit. Initially the vacuum was 480 millimeter mercury and now it is 400. Ultrasonic energy is set at 60 percent and now watch cleaning of the cortex by the handpiece itself. The ball tip chopper protects the posterior capsule and very quickly we can remove the cortex. And now uh, there are some lens fibers sticking to the posterior capsule and that is being removed by the irrigation cannula itself. The irrigating jet of fluid is indirected and the cannula is moved side to side and by this movement the cells that stick to the that was stuck to the posterior capsule come off. The main wound is enlarged a bit because I am using a B cartridge and now here goes the intraocular lens. This is a beautiful lens from Johnson & Johnson sensor on. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is placed in the bag by the uh, irrigating probe itself. Irrigating probe dials the lens, places uh, the haptics about 90 degree away from the main wound and the case is almost done. So see the polishing of the posterior capsule, very clean, no cells sticking to the posterior capsule. This is moxie, the side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration and the main port will not require any hydration. 
I am going to use a 23G Simco for formation of the anterior chamber, the final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time, fluid is directed towards the cornea a bit for few seconds to remove any visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium and this is how I form the anterior chamber. And now the integrity of the wounds are checked with cotton tipped Janssen bars. Few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.